Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded video today where I'm going to take a look at the mini boss that's been added to the game. I'm going to show you guys in creative mode but with enemies on how you will be able to unlock the mini boss encounter. There's a new one being added, it's been part of the dungeons that you'll find or the laboratories in the trash zone and it's near a black ant hill. So I'm going to guide you through it in a let's play style. Hope you enjoy it. Do let me know and go check out the rest of the guides. I'm also going to show you in this video also what it unlocks defeating him and how it can access even more laboratories all around the map. So do, like I said, leave a like if you want to see more grounded content. Check out the rest of the content. Let's go. It does look like you're going to have to go underwater a little bit. And swim through this little gap. And we are here in rubbish land. Got plenty of mushrooms to gather and harvest too. And plenty of cans. Got a golden nugget location here too, a mega milk molar. And that's gonna mean we can upgrade our group stuff. Yada yada yada. So once you've explored all that, then we come across the Black Ant Hill entrance here. Let's go down the ant hill and see what's actually in here. I'm guessing this is where we're gonna find some of the black ant soldiers. They are in the game, it's not just the cute ones. Oh my days, that is a lot of food, and yep, black ant soldiers, so these guys I'm guessing are going to be pretty formidable and tough. Look how much food there is, whoa, this is like the food jackpot, just absolutely dumping it all. So lots of clay in this spot as well. We go deeper, deeper down. Let's see what's inside. Wow, it's a big, huge area again. Maybe more eggs? I've always found getting the eggs like one of the toughest things to do in Grounded. There's just no real rhyme or reason like that I've worked out officially. I know some people say they spawn in every few days, but I'm always too late. I always see the shells way too late, so I've never really made the bombs that much. But no, it definitely looks like they're bringing food down here as well. Why is that? Why are they bringing even more food? Let's just follow this guy and see where he goes. Okay, so we're in the tunnels with the electric wires. This must lead to all that underground stuff that was shown off previously in a little tour video. They go absolutely miles all the way around, look. And we found the doorway. This is the way to the laboratories. I don't think I can get in here though. I'm sure you've got to do quite a lot of action in opening the doorways up. There is something making noise up there, so maybe we can get up there and activate it. So we have got a soldier ant. I guess we should really probably take a look at damaging him and see what kind of damage it takes. So yeah, good few hits. Obviously I know they're not attacking, but you get the idea. They're going to have the same animations and attacks as the red ones. But they'll probably do a lot more damage. Get here. We've got the black ant mandibles and the black ant heads. Okay, so can't actually get into any of these doors. They're all locked. It does look like there is a way up on this platform. And there's another doorway over there that's opened. Is there anything like a scab or anything like that here? Seems a bit weird to have this place with nothing in it. Maybe it's science points. I'm not too sure if the science points spawn in creative mode or not. It's a bit weird we've not actually come across any of them. So yeah, I can only presume there might be something in there. Oh, crashed rock requires explosives to get inside. Right, so we need an explosive. Okay, I'm going to throw a grenade at it and see if that does the job so I've got a Splathurst one here yeah that's the one then this gets us inside this room and we've got some tases okay I'm just going to ignore them for now Got the mash keys. So we've got clearance to go in zone A, which is that doorway now that should be opening up. 
doesn't appear to be anything else in here just yet and things again will or may always change there is another corridor back here though which i kind of want to go and take a look at so there isn't any resources when we did the tour i thought there might be loads of resources here but it looks like it is mostly just some food nothing else going on at the moment okay another tease We have got an analyzer, so we can see what some of this stuff is rare or common. In fact, so much of it is common. Even the sickly parts and some of the foods that I figured would have been a little bit more, you know, rarer. There is a workbench here though, which is good. And there's some bandages as well, okay. So we'll go through this doorway. Or not. Okay, that's B, so that access is B, so that must be a quick way out once we access or open that doorway up. This way leads to another monitor. No, just a way out up here. Okay, so we're on this loot box thing. And that's all it is. It's just simply storage for some loot. But nothing too amazing or sexy. Well, at least I know what that one does now. I don't have to mess around. Going back through. Just checking there's no more. So the B door is the door that isn't actually open at the moment then. So we've got to find the A door. So go back up here. Yeah, and it simply has just opened up that spot. It does look like there's another corridor also. And this goes in all sorts of places, but I think they moderately move out. We'll follow the lines of the power in a minute. Maybe we have to actually do some more power stuff to get the B door open. But let's go into the A. Okay, so it looks like it's a chasm that we're going to have to jump down. Oh, sugar. Yep, wow. Would never have spotted this. So you go through the little hole here. And we're into this part as well. Got another storage chest with some more loot inside. Feather. Man, this loot is weak. Ain't gonna lie. There are some beds though to sleep, and yes, we've got a jackpot of stuff. Acorn bits, lots of dry grasses, some mint shards, and some cookie sandwich bits, lots of aphid honeydew. Okay, so a good place to rest up, get your energy and stuff back. So when you drop down here, you can't really get back up. I guess maybe you could build something. Let's just check, see if you can build. Nope, it won't allow you to place one of them or any of them so that's it once you drop down you're stuck in it i'm sure this will eventually lead back out to where we were oh we've got three taste teas but no arcs and this is the door system for b there you go it should be open now okay that's cool trash can anything in here and I guess that's where one of them we were. Let's just try and remember which way to go. See nothing down that way. I'm guessing you follow the lights. I think these other tunnels will all eventually lead out. But it's the, the power cables that you kind of got to follow. Bearing in mind there's a lot of ants and uh, soldier ants down here as well. Yeah, look, they're bringing food down still. I think this was the way that we came before. This is the entrance way. Yeah, this is where you come in from the anthill. So when you've come in from the anthill, and then you've got to here, you go left, because you won't be able to get into that section because the door will be shut. So you have to go left first, and then eventually you'll come out this way. And you can go back this way, and it should take us to that whole area again, where the door to the B section should be open. Yep, it's green light now on the B. And this leads us even deeper. Nothing going on in here. Whoa, okay, more tunnels. I wasn't expecting there to be another tunnel. Okay, and this is filled with enemies, so be very careful. Loads of black soldier ants. Gonna need your whole crew. Lots of armor, lots of weapons to get through here. Got that great big massive metal door. There's no trigger to actually press it or do anything with it. 
There is a golden nugget up here as well, a mega milk molar. So I'm going to crack it open. Okay, so now we've got to work out how to open up this doorway. Still getting stuck on the terrain. A few little bits of stone. But yeah, there's no loads of corridors to go, so you must be able to get through here. Press the button. It's opened up. Oh, wow. So it's just fully opened. Uh, again, we're going to need another cracked glass explosive. Good thing I've got one. Now, I've got a feeling... I'm doing this in creative mode, but I've got a feeling these might have stuff going on. I'm pretty sure these are going to have flames or electricity popping out of them. So it'll be quite hard dodging through here, guys. Again, once I do this 100% legit, we'll confirm that. But that's what I'm saying right now. These aren't here just for show. These are definitely some sort of defense system. So once you get through, press the button and it activates a bunch of taste teas. And we've got... The assistant manager! And they actually recognise me. Okay, this is good. Well, I can hopefully um, sort my life out and uh, get a shield on. Take care of the ads. Whoa. So if we get close to him. Now, I am blocking it with this shield. Okay, I basically just messed around with for ages. He does do another attack, so you've got to be looking out for that one. Oh my god, okay, yep. Okay. So, this is what happens. It does seemingly damage him as well, or at least it puts him off. Oh, so you've got to wait till they go past. This is great. So I'm guessing they're going to do a lot of damage. And obviously with the Arc R creature there as well, you might have to hide behind some of these. And then they have a phase where they shoot um, lightning out as well. What? This is going to be mad. See, really, we'll have to get cover behind some of these to not take damage from them. But then be careful, they're not going to be shooting out lightning like that one. Ow! Oh, there's like literally not much places to go other than in this middle pole here. And then that one fires the beams again. This is madness. Does look like you might be able to stun him a little bit. Come on. Go on. He's dead. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. So I'm guessing you'll get a bunch of science points for that. I'm just going to clear my inventory just to make sure I do pick up anything I'm meant to pick up. There we go. 100 raw science and assistant manager key card. So that assistant manager key card could potentially open up the Hayes laboratory. Or there's another laboratory in the sand pit that needs a key card. Okay, so the assistant manager key card pretty much just opens up any doorways with this. So it means we can get through here. And eventually, I guess this leads to a way out. No resources again. Nothing up here. Seems a bit too lonely. But I guess after defeating the boss fight, do you really want to be messing around trying to kill loads of creatures? Can we get in through this doorway? It just opens up all doorways now, apparently. 
And there's the Black Anthill Burgle chip. So we'll take that to Burgle and see what it unlocks. Okay, just a bunch of stuff in here, but nothing really super important. I do want to just go and check out every nook and crook. This leads to the other area. It's open down here. Yeah. And nothing here. No scabs. Oh, it's a chest. Okay, so we've got some gum. But yeah, no uh, scabs. Okay, so let's go through the exit point this way. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do this again to see where the uh, monitor was to see where the scab was kind of telling me to go because there definitely were some parts where it was like flashing and this leads us out out here and that's where the doorway is the exit point that's really cool so once you've exited you can go back in and double check so i did end up spending like another hour and a half touring around the map and then finally getting into the sandbox by climbing over and doing stuff but there is an actual way directly from where we just were in them dungeons in the labs a and b one of the tunnels does directly lead so i'm going back down it now just to show you guys so that you do absolutely know that you can get into the sandbox straight after defeating that assistant manager mini boss and get to the sandbox laboratory that needs the manager's card it does seem quite complicated there's lots of tunnels and when i did my tour of this i thought it would be absolutely a huge maze but it's pretty signposted pretty well like to unlock all the doors and face the mini boss just follow the wires and then when you want to escape just explore some of these tunnels and yeah eventually you will get to the one that comes underneath the sandbox to check your progress just look at the map and it should show you where you are even if you're underground there's two ways down here follow the cables again so we're back here. Right. So make your way back to this big massive room. Explored all that. That's right. And see where the door for A is. Follow the corridor and that will take you to the sand pits. And you've got to go to the right hand side. Now you can go and explore some of these other places if you want. There's not much going on, just a bit of food and stuff. Well, if you go up this rise, is there something a bit better? Cracked rock. Oh my god, okay, we need another one of them. And there we go, we broke through and we've got a scab. Corporate issue. Well, got to try it, haven't we? Okay, looks pretty similar to all the rest of them, to be honest. So yeah, if you run, don't forget to check some of these rocks to see if they're breakable. Well, there, back, go through the wires, keep following the wires up. Come to this open area here, there's a few torches and lights and stuff. And you've got two ways to go. This way ends up just leading back down to like nowhere, nothing really here. Just shows you where the uh, scab was earlier. And then follow the other corridor down, keep going this way. And you will end up eventually in the sandbox. Ta da! I'm sure there was the laboratory entrance over here. And that's what we want because we've got the key card to open it up. Yeah, there we go. And this is how you get the mysterious burgle chip. Shadow of the Toy Shovel at 3.30. Oh, it's nearly 3.30 now. So yeah, there's lots of spicy stuff. But again, still no sweets. Still can't pick up any of the actual sweets themselves. There's no sweets up here either. The spicy stuff. I haven't actually come across any spicy sweets in the game yet. Okay, let's go and get to this uh, shovel though. So I look for the shovel. It's the blue one. Over there. No, this one. 3.30 he says so what way is he actually moving it's kind of going here 3.19 oh hang on there was a prompt there we go whoa and it's a key 
So that has got to open up the treasure box that I think's inside the water, the chest over there. Okay, let's go and do that one. Okay, more ant lions. So they're all over the place. And I think they do all open up into little caves or caves and caverns. There we go, and we've got ourselves, it's a blue motor point, a milk morsel. Okay, just underwater, just hiding there. Okay, cool. So, it's around the corner there, if you hadn't seen it for some reason. So, no check tips, no chip tech installed. So, it says it's the red anthill chip unlocks, but that's not necessarily true. I do believe if we talk to Burgle now and look at the, the raw science, you can see it actually unlocks lures, lure arrows, as well as the advanced smithing quartzite glob. So pretty much you can upgrade your weapons beyond level 5 up to level 10 with the different little globs like the mint glob, the spicy glob. And then we've got the spice set, or the science set glow. So that was the mysterious chip, and that was situated in the sandbox, I do believe. And that unlocks the mint mace. So you won't be able to just make the mint mace anymore. You've got to go and find the, the chip for it and then spend points on it. Right, so no matter even if you've got mint pieces, yeah, you can't make the mint mace anymore until you do all them steps. I have obviously unlocked more chips as well, so I'll show you all that in another video. But basically, there's a one that you get on top of the picnic table, and it unlocks a bunch more items, as you can see, just as a little bonus. Food and stuff signs, and the milk motor scanner. But again, I'll probably do this in a short video, and give you any extra tips around the areas, what you should be getting. So there you go, that is my little let's play of the brand new mini boss fight, the Black Ant Hill, and all the rewards that you can get afterwards. Hope you've enjoyed it, do leave a like if you have, check out the rest of my grounded content, and I'll be back with more stuff from the PTS server and the full update when it arrives.